Well, good morning, folks. Welcome to another creek fishing adventure. With my spinning rod, I was considering doing fly fishing today, but I thought, you know, we're just gonna go for the old spinning rod. We're going for cutthroat trout and some brown trout today. Let's get started. Here we are, and check that out. I've come to this spot specifically because of this big beaver dam. This is absolutely crazy. This wall is like six feet tall. Now we just gotta figure out how to get around it. There we go. This spot looks juicy. So normally this time of year, this would all be frozen solid, but it's been kind of warm in the past couple days. We've gotten into the 40s, upper 30s. So a little bit of the ice melted and there's enough room to cast. And the jig I'm using is this little green power bait tube that I usually use for ice fishing, but it can absolutely kill them in these creeks. Let's give it a first cast. First cast of the day. I'm gonna walk around, see if I can get a little bit further up. That's where I'm seeing them jump. You know, I bet a lot of the fish are hiding under this ice. All right, let's see if I fall through here. This might be really funny. I think it's pretty solid. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Famous last words. You know, we're standing over like two feet of water right here, I'm pretty sure. So if we do fall through, we're screwed. Well guys, this spot I had high hopes for, not gonna lie, and we didn't get a single bite. <laughs> that sucks. For now, we'll move on. There we go. Fish on. Oh, it was a little brown. It was a little brownie. Shoot. Uh, well, feels good to get a bite. See if he'll come back for it. Probably not. Oh, yep. Something swiped at it. Something swiped at it. There he is. Good and good and good and good. Yes! Look at that brown. <laughs> Beautiful first fish. Heck yeah. I am happy with that. The browns in here can grow to a decent size. You know, not a trophy or anything, but it can get 15, 16 inches, so it's definitely not a bad fish. I think I'm gonna keep this guy and I'll tell you why. The browns in here, I think technically aren't even supposed to be here. This is mainly a cutthroat stream and browns are somewhat unwanted, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna keep this dude. We're gonna eat him. I don't know if we're gonna eat him on video, but if not, I'll take him home. Oh my goodness, guys, how do I get out of here? <sighs> Holy cow. I'm literally stuck. Tough it out, walk straight through all this crap. Come on, come on. Made it. All that, crashing through those bushes, crawling on my hands and knees. And we haven't even gotten a single bite from this beautiful looking spot. 
I don't know what's going on, folks. I really think they're just like hunkered down. They're just not active, simple as that. I know there's fish here, but they just want nothing to do with me right now. All right, so I've come to a new beaver dam. There we go. Oh, shoot. First drop down. Another one, another one. Dude, instant, instant, instant. There we go, folks, cutthroat. Second species of the day. I came to a completely different part of the creek. So far, I was first cast in. We got a fish. All right, there we go. Just in the past 20 minutes, I feel like the temperature's dropped about 10, 15 degrees. It is cold out here. Another one. Dude, we found him. Oh, dang it. There he goes. Another one. There we go. I'm getting bit instantly, man. Nice. That just goes to show you, you can fish for hours and hours and catch like nothing. And then if you just find the right spot, you'll start catching them. I probably fished, it felt like a quarter mile of stream trudging through willows and a bunch of crap. And all I caught was one little brown. There he is. There he is. They're not big fish, but every once in a while, if you can just weed through these small ones, you'll get a big one that comes through. I don't even care. It just feels good to catch fish. I literally could care less how big they are. Come on. Oh. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. Folks, I saw like four or five fish. I'm not even kidding. Four or five fish came right out and looked at my jig. There he is. Oh my goodness. They're stacked right here. I mean, this is a deep spot. It goes all the way back over there and it's probably four or five feet deep. So it can, it can hold all these fish. There's another one. Oh. oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, he just ate something. He just ate something. Oh, two of them, two of them. I'm jigging for them right here. Here they come. Can you guys see those fish? Oh my gosh. Biggin, biggin, <laughs> biggin. Dude, that is so cool. I'm literally just jigging them up right there. And they just come over and swipe at it. Like three or four at a time. Nice, nice. I mean, I guess you could call this ice fishing. I'm watching them come up to my bait. It's the coolest when you can see them take your bait and how they react and all that. There he is again. There he is. There he is. Whoo. Oh, that water's cold. That water's cold. All right, watch this. I wonder if the GoPro can see him. I'm just dipping it right there on the edge of this ice. Here they come, here they come. Here they come, there's a couple. Oh, missed it. Let's see how close I can get them to me. There's a couple. I think, there he is, oh. I think they do know that I'm here, but they're so hungry that they don't even care. Look at him, look at him. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, missed him. There he is, there he is. This is why I love fishing, right here. My goodness. Oh, there you go, little guy. I should have brought my auger and just gone out there and drilled a hole. This ice is definitely thick enough. It looks like four inches thick or three inches thick. So we could probably get away. Oh, there's a nice one. That's a nice one. Nice. We could probably get away with drilling a hole right there. How crazy would that be? Just ice fishing this little creek. Ooh, is that the biggest one? I think that's the biggest one. I could do this all day long. When the fishing's like this, it's worth just braving the cold, coming out here. I think it's supposed to snow a little later, so the temperature's probably gonna start dropping like crazy. There he goes. But 
when the fish are biting like this, it doesn't matter how cold it is. I don't care if you have the flu, all right? I don't care if you're missing a leg, you're, you're going fishing. Another one. Every cast, every cast. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Some of them are a lot more colored out than the others. Like this one's a lot more yellow. I mean, they're all pretty, but just look at that. Look at that. Perfect fish right there. Now there's bound to just be a lunker sitting right here. Gotta weed through all the little ones to find them, but there's probably a big one or a tiger. There's a nice one. I don't think I mentioned there's a few tigers in here. You don't see them very often, but occasionally you do. There's another one, we'll get him back quick. I'm gonna move around there. Oh yeah, look at that chunk of ice that fell. That's gotta be, that's a good three inches of ice. I could definitely get out there and break a little hole and do some ice fishing. Oh, swiped at it, come on, come on. Come back. I think they're kind of getting smart to me though. They're not hitting it as aggressive. There he is. Got him that time. Just popped off. Nice. Another pretty little cut. Let him go. There he is. Oh, dude. This guy came clear from back up under there and he was determined. He came in hot. That was an aggressive take. There we go. Good one. Good one. Ooh. Flip him up. Nice. That is a fat fish. Fat fish. Right here at this little, there's another beaver dam. Look at that. There we go. Toss him back. One week later. All right guys, back at it. Day two at the creek. The last clips you saw were from a few days ago. Absolutely killed the cutties. But today we're back at the same creek and we're gonna do a little catch and cook. I'll show you guys that recipe later, but first we need to get a fish. All right, so I've come to the same part of the creek that I was at last time where I didn't even get a bite. But just in the last few days, we've had some rain and some temperatures above freezing. So all the snow and ice that was covering this creek has melted. And hopefully the fish are a little bit more active since they don't have ice to hide underneath. And for bait, we got a little yellow jig head and a pink power worm. Let's see, first cast of the day. All right, so no bites with the pink worm. I'm gonna throw around this for Paula, see if they want that. There's a fish, there's a fish. Yes, there we go. Looks like a brown, maybe, maybe, let's see. Get it out of those weeds. Oh, he's getting tangled up. What do we have here? What do we have here? I have no, yep, brownie, brownie. Check it out, on the Rapala, baby. We are gonna cook this guy up. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful little brown. He is missing a chunk of his tail there. We're gonna do a, Pretty cool recipe today. It's another uh, chip recipe, so stay tuned for that. But I'm gonna kill this guy real quick and keep casting. See if we can catch a few more just for fun. But there we go. Whoa. Whoa. Back up. Oh my goodness, holy cow, holy cow. That is not safe, that is quicksand. Oh my goodness, I just about sunk right there. So we got like a little ditch 
that runs into the creek right here so when it rains it floods out like i said we had some raining and some flooding this past week so all this sand and gravel is super super loose i mean right here it's pretty stable but right here oh my gosh it's like you just fall right through it's like it's hollow underneath things are getting dangerous at the creek Oh gosh, oh gosh, just fell. Just sunk in another foot. I thought it was stable right there, but nope. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm to my knees. Nope, nope. <laughs> oh, I can just tell this whole ground's about to give way. All right, we're standing back. Nope, I'm not getting any closer. I just went clear to my knee. There we go, fish on, fish on, little guy. Really little, just a baby. Little cutthroat, look at that. Cute little thing. Smack the Rapala that was about a third his size. All right, guys, no more fish. I've seen a lot of little ones swimming around down there, but none of them want my Rapala, so. So we're gonna go cook that trout and give this recipe a try. All right, folks, welcome to our outdoor kitchen. We're just gonna be cooking right here on the bank. And for today's recipe, we have here some flaming hot Funyuns. We're gonna take our brown trout fillets and basically just bread them with the Funyun dust. If you saw one of the last videos, I actually did this with salt and vinegar chips to a trout, and it was pretty good. So we're gonna try it again out here with some Funyuns. All right. I love just cooking outdoors, especially right next to the creek. This is so much fun. I love just getting out here, catching a little fish, cooking it up right where you caught it. I've got three little Ziploc bags. I'm gonna take some Funyuns, put them in this bag, you know, crush them up real good. Now we're gonna take this egg, go ahead and crack it open in this bag. Farm fresh egg. We only use that farm fresh stuff around here, baby. Crush that egg up. Let's try some of these Funyuns. To be honest, I've never been a huge fan of Funyuns, but they're not bad, you know. I'll eat them. Whew, that flaming hot flavor too. Oh, that's really good. Mm. You know, it just tastes like a Cheeto. I'm about to eat the whole bag. And that's hot. You guys know, I don't have a very high spice tolerance. All right, so we'll take some Funyuns. Oh, no. Put them in our bag. That should be good. And eh, we're gonna, we'll do a couple more. Once we crush them, it won't be very much. All right, that's perfect. Got our Funyuns. Crush them up, man. The smaller you can crush them up, the better. All right, and here we got our fish. Two little brown trout fillets. Drop them in the egg. Mix those around. Then we got our bag of flour. And the one thing that I learned from the last chip video I did was when you cook it in oil, a lot of the flavoring from the chip just disappears. Like when I did the salt and vinegar, I would say a good 80% of the flavor just got cooked out. So we definitely need to add some extra flavoring. Got here some gourmet Cajun spice that we're gonna mix in with the flour. And I'm gonna be super generous with it, super generous. All right. That's perfect. Now we got our fish. Drop it in the flour. There we go. Mix them up. And then we'll take the fillets and drop them back in the egg. Mix them up again. I can smell that Cajun spice in the air. It is very strong. Now, last step, take the fish and put it and our Funyuns. 
All right, look at that. All right, I'll seal it up, blow a little bit of air into the bag, then shake them up. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. It looks like it's sticking really, really well. Let's check them out. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, that looks beautiful. I'm actually gonna let them sit in the bag and just absorb all that spice, funion flavor as I can. In the meantime, we'll light up our stove. Throw some oil in there. Yeah, it's vegetable oil, not the best oil to cook in, but hey, it works. I love how some people get so worked up over, you know, if somebody does something that they wouldn't do, they just freak out about it. Uh, you should use peanut oil, okay? Canola oil is horrible. Or when people get mad at you for using like a five weight fly rod in a little stream. You should not be using a five weight in that stream. You have to use like a two weight or a three weight. It's like, who cares? I caught fish. It doesn't matter if you're using a freaking sea fishing rod. You could probably still catch fish just fine. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Perfectly coated. Funyuns work as a very good breading. I mean, look how red that is. That is very interesting. All right, lay it in the oil. Look at that. Perfect. Sweet. <laughs> Set her down. Oh, goodness. I am way more excited to try this than the salt and vinegar because the salt and vinegar was good, but it just didn't have a lot of flavor. But this, I mean, it just looks, I don't know, what's a good word to describe that? It looks like it has an aggressive flavor. I, I guess that's a good way to describe it. We'll give those a few minutes on each side and then we'll be golden. But guys, just look at this view. Beautiful view of the creek. I actually did just catch another little trout right there when I first got here off camera. And it's a good thing we're out here now because there's actually a big storm that's coming. It's pretty warm today. I mean, warm meaning like 40 degrees. So it does feel good out here, but it's not going to last for long. We got a big storm coming. So it's nice to get out here while there's no snow and just enjoy it because winter's definitely not over. That's for sure. All right. I think we'll give them a flip here. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This looks amazing. <laughs> All right, they are done. That one's starting to fall apart. We'll go ahead and turn the stove off. <sighs> Folks, look at that right there. I am awfully proud of this. Like, look at that, it just looks so good. Even if it doesn't taste great, which I think it'll taste pretty good. It, it looks really good. Looks cool. All right. We'll go for this one. Break off a piece. Fish is cooked perfectly. All right, let's see how Creek Brown Trout breaded with Funyuns and Cajun seasoning tastes. That's hot. All right, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. First of all, like the last time we did this, it makes for a really good breading. That's, that's awesome. But a lot of the flavor just got cooked out of it. There's definitely a little bit of spice there, but it's not as flavorful as I want. I thought by adding a ton of uh, Cajun seasoning in with the flour, it would really up the flavor, but not a whole lot, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not disappointed, it's good. You know what we're gonna do? I'm actually gonna take some of the Cajun seasoning and just pour it right on the fish. A lot should be better. That's a lot better. So my final conclusion, Funyun covered brown trout, pretty good. It did have more flavoring than the salt and vinegar. I think next time, and if you guys want to try this recipe at home, really double up with the seasoning in the flour. If I could do it again, I would just dump like half the bottle in. But all in all, cool experiment. Glad we did this. So definitely not going to be the last time you guys see me do this. And give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.